you. Oh, I got you in the mouth, dude. Oh, I got you in the mouth, dude. What's going on guys? I am Matthias and today we're looking at 10 strange things that Tanner found on a variety of these Chinese websites. Now these Chinese websites, you've seen them, they sell the most, well, some normal products and they also sell some really, really, really strange products and we don't know why. And Tanner has looked and found some really crazy products and I'm gonna let you know whether these items are cash it or trash it. And I'm gonna throw them away if they're trash it. <laughs> Taloka inflatable unicorn costume, inflatable Pegasus costume fancy suit. Tanner, you know what's up, dude. What's up, Matt? Here's what's up. This is like a perfect dunce cap kind of thing. Like say you do something dumb in High Five Studios, you gotta walk around the entire day with this. So let's just pretend like we're testing out this strategy, okay? We're gonna see people's reaction when Tanner walks around. Just walk around casually? Just walk around casually, 100%. I mean, if there's anybody in this office that would walk around casually with that, it's probably me, let's be honest. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> let's add to cart. You think this is gonna fit you? I hope so. How does this work? Do you think it like, you have to like fill it up with air or something? Yeah. Oh yes, it's got like a little air thing. <laughs> so people won't even be able to like avoid you. It's just gonna be like meh. <laughs> this is it, dude. This is like my birthday present. There you go. You look like a wizard now. Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> Put this on and walk around High Five Studios. All right, Tanner. Let's get a full wide on this puppy. You got a wide load right here, dude. <laughs> All right, so these are supposed to be your legs. So gallop for me, dude. <laughs> just hitting you in the face. <laughs> No, 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 like you're doing it too intense. Just kind of like a, a slow hop. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready to do this? Yeah, dude. We're gonna We're gonna go over to blue base and let's, you know, just gallop around. We're gonna try and stand back while you just kind of like gallop around and we're gonna try and get some reactions. All right, let's see what happens. Are you gonna feel comfortable walking across the parking lot? 100%, I walked across the parking lot and worse, dude. You can tell she totally likes it though because it's a unicorn. <laughs> it's so much fun. Like, <laughs> At first I was like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? And then I was like, I'm all for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all for this. Hey, Danny. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I was wearing my normal outfit for the day. Hop on upstairs real Hop quick. Upstairs. Or gallop upstairs. <laughs> dude, this thing is triggering me. You're deflating, dude. I know, I'm trying to inflate. Dude, your pony's dead. <laughs> me! How's it going, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it live? Why is it Because <laughs> I can't get any air. <laughs> cash it or trash it? Cash it, baby. Cash it? Cash, cash it. it or trash it? Cash it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Everybody cash is Tanner the fairy unicorn, dude. <laughs> Sandal reflex massage slippers, acupuncture foot massage, or shoe health care. Are those little yin yang symbols? <laughs> Is that seriously what it is? I'm just happy because when I looked at it a little bit closer, it was yin yang. But when you look at it from far away, it looks a little obscene. <laughs> it looks like some butt cracks, some other kind of human cracks. <laughs> and I'm not down, dude. I'm not down to step on those cracks. We've had some things similar to this in the past. <laughs> just pressing so hard. <laughs> okay, so this is obviously it says reflex. Uh, what they mean by that is reflexology. You know those brain posters that you see all the stupid parts of the brain where they're like fake? It's like this part's the emotion, like, <laughs> come on. But this is actually true. Amanda was literally sitting once in a doctor's office doing reflexology and they're like, oh, do you have a pro, do you have like a, an issue with your kidneys? Looking at her feet and she was like, yes, I have uh, IgA nephropathy, which is like a kidney disorder. And we were like, <laughs> and we never doubted reflexology again, dude. <laughs> and I was like, dude, read my foot. All right, let's add to cart. Ooh. I don't know why I said ooh. I always like default going ooh, but it's not that good looking, honestly. Yeah, there we go. There's a little map of the parts of the foot and the reflexology. So let's get a feel for this. What? Is it already broken? Oh, whoa, they actually press in. Look at this. That's really strange. Let's see if this, uh, this helps my foot, dude. Why does this look like it's, this is what I'm supposed to step on? Yeah, it kind of does. Like whose foot is shaped like that? Where are you supposed to wear these things? Uh, you're supposed to wear them. Get out, <laughs> stupid piece of crap, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you tried so hard to pass it on to me. What a dad. Oh, oh, okay. This is even better than the ones we tried in the previous video. Cause these ones actually depress and I feel like I'm like, kind of like standing on springs and stuff like that. By the way, we've kept them around the office and people wear them continuously. No matter how unfashionable they are. Here, try this out. Oh, you got some. I have boots That's on. That's gonna take some time, isn't it? Yeah, I can make it work if you want. Make it work, dude. All right. All right, here we go. Oh my think? gosh. What do you think? I could rock this, you know what I'm saying? You could walk this? I could. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 
Dude, let's see what let's see what other people around the office think about these. All right, Nicole, come here. This is perfect too because you have sandals on. Okay, yeah, this I is great. We already see your feet. Yeah. Other <laughs> people's feet. No, just there? socks, just ours, but we've had socks on. Okay. Dude, she's got a foot guys, thing, dude. You guys see? <laughs> well, I, well, this feels weird. How weird though? Like, describe it in detail. In 240 characters or less. <laughs> it actually kind of feels like a keyboard for your toes. <laughs> That's solid, dude. Cash or trash? Uh, trash. Uh, trash, dude? I, I feel we like... gotta get some more opinions. Hey, Robert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was like, yeah. What's that? Put those on. Tell me what you think. Don't worry, it's just Nicole's feet. And she just only has a couple fungi. Yeah. Ooh, that's weird. Reflexology, my dude. Right, what I don't think. That's like rough, but like satisfying at the same time. <laughs> like, <laughs> like me, dude. <laughs> Hey Gunner, come here for a second. It's not weird. Will it wake me up? Sure, yeah. Inside, Whoa. I can't wait. Do I take my shoes off? Yeah. Do you, do you put yeah. shoes in your sandals? <laughs> you can put your shoes in that? Well, you put socks. It's not equivalent. Yes, it is. Still looks equally as ridiculous. Dude, just put them on. <laughs> wait, what, are the, what does that do? Watch out, watch out! So three of them <laughs> have shot on, patterns on them. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. They 100% don't. Find the three. Wait, what? Yeah, they're like little springs. It's reflexology. Walk around a little bit. What? Get, get some mileage in them. I actually get some mileage. <laughs> this is more than my exercise. All right, keep walking. No, the other way. Yeah. <laughs> Take you and your chocolates out of here. Cash this or trash. is really painful. Cash or trash, dude. So what is it supposed to do? How am I supposed to rate it? Dude, just quick. Reaction. Cash or trash? Cash or trash? Cash or trash? Cash or trash? Trash. 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 Oh, trash. Yeah. No, it hurts. Maybe you have a problem with your feet then. Yeah, it's your fault. I've got a lot of <laughs> Hawaii cute dry rice slime crystal squishy toy DIY simulation rice soft house food toy. What? This is getting weirder by the minute, dude. What is cute dry rice? I've never looked at rice and been like, oh, that's some cute dry rice, dude. Ew, it looks so weird. Ew, that looks like something like out of an alien orifice. Hey, Matt, there's another link to actual slime. Okay. See how we can compare the two. <laughs> crystal mud Play-Doh magic slime fertilizer crystal mud clay. I I'm confused. Explain this to me. So you add the beads to this. And... Oh, the dry rice. <laughs> yeah, you add the dry rice to this here. Or whatever this alien blood is, and then you make a textural experience. <laughs> a textural experience, dude. I can't wait. Add the cart. Give me my textural experience, Tanner. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know it was open. Nice, dude. dude have some rice, my dude. <laughs> if you guys can't see that, he literally just slammed it on the desk, Brian style. <laughs> And it went, oh my, oh, no. oh my gosh. It, it's glitter with rice, dude. Oh, it went literally everywhere. Anyways, let's pretend like that didn't happen. You've clearly already un unboxed that for me. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try and make like a textual experience here. Oh, this just feels like hair gel. Remember back in the 90s when you used to use hair gel? Yeah, it's dry. It's like it's like a gelatin kind of a thing. It's just like the ooze that you would get at the dollar store. But I guess you're supposed to put this in there or something like that. Or maybe I'll just throw that in there to. Gosh, this made such a mess. And like I'll like just let it absorb all of the rice. And I'm just gonna kind of like really. Oh! I feel not as bad right now that you did it to yourself. <laughs> it literally went everywhere times two. What were you thinking getting this tanner? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm thinking this exact thing would happen. And it barely even absorbed anything. It just looks like it has a disease now. That was so not worth it. <laughs> what, what, what? I'll be back in a minute, guys. Oximetro pulse oximeter de pulso de dedo finger de pulse oximeter two color pulse oximeter. How many times are you gonna say the same thing? I've actually seen these things at the doctor's office. They test your blood oxygen level, right? But they're like attached to a giant machine and it's just basically telling you this exact same thing they've incorporated into the item itself. Add to cart. Let's test my pulse. What pulse? Just dead inside. Yeah. Finger pulse oximeter. Blue, oh yes, blue. Like why do you need to make that many colors? That just seems unnecessary. It's one thing if it's like a white watch strap, but it's like, mom, I wanted the red one. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's an oximeter or whatever that is. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Oh, look, it's already on. Oh, look at that. It says 98 over 59. I'm not a nurse, so I have no idea what any of this means. I'm gonna assume I'm in perfect health. <laughs> Everyone's just like, you're about to die, dude. Tanner, like slap me in the back, see if it raises. Oh, come on, man, harder. Oh, harder, harder. Ah. 
That's so weak, dude. I don't even think you did anything. Oh, I got up to 70. Woo! And then I went right back down. You don't scare me much. When it says finger out, I feel compelled to put my finger back in. I'm like, I'm sorry, dude. I'll put my finger back in. This is actually really cool though. I would say this one's a cash it for sure. Put that in my pocket. Take it home. Show Amanda. Look what I found, mom. <laughs> Playable interactive piano hand, musical gloves, electronic exercise instrument. <laughs> Exercise. I love it when they just push one little bit too far. It's like, it's one thing where it's like, yeah, interactive, piano, yes. Gloves, yes. Electronic, yes. Exercise instrument? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, mom, I need this to exercise my phalanges. I think they're talking about piano exercises. Come on, it's not that accurate. <laughs> this is no way gonna teach you piano. It's like overcomplicating it. I guarantee you, you can find a piano that cheap. I mean, it's not gonna be good. <laughs> it's just gonna be like a crappy little digital one, but let's test it out. Nice, piano gloves. Electronic piano gloves. One black hand, one white hand. Dichotomy of the human soul. What's your take? Do you think I'm gonna be able to play some sweet tunes with this? Yes. You do? You're a very talented human being. Well, thank you. I imagine nothing but the best to come. He's just trying to suck up. Yeah. I see through it. I'm too smart. You're so smart. <laughs> Wait, is he being serious now or? <laughs> oh man, these are really small. That actually fits though. Now for the hand that's a little bit of a darker, you know, this one only plays minor notes. <laughs> okay, on. Accurate. Where's the button? This is weird. Oh, that's a good a good way to play, maybe. Oh, this is tiring, dude. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is, is definitely a finger exercise for sure. <laughs> Here we go. Can I play chopsti chopsticks? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you right now. If my my fingers are tired, so exercise instrument 100% right. My fingers are tired already. Way more tired than actually playing a piano. I actually can play a piano. That being said, I'll, I'll give this one a cash it. Stop. That was actually fun. <laughs> Before we get into the next product, quick shout out to Jezza4000 for clicking that bell icon and subscribe button and commenting down below. Thank you. Next product. One times DIY model dual track strange slope science education spinner toy. All those words and I still don't really understand what this is. It's a science toy. Weird physical experiment. I've, I've done some weird physical experiments before. Am I right? Or at least I told my friends. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Basically, you got this like egg and it just rolls down in, in an awkward fashion and I'm supposed to be amazed. Add to cart. Here we go, dude. How does this work? What? This doesn't look like an egg. How am I supposed to do this? You're supposed to watch that video, Matt. It's what? gonna explain it to you. All right, dude, I wanna explain it. I wanna understand it. What the heck is this? All right, relax, dude. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> what? You never done this? This is not what this product is. It's shoot the There's moon. Oh, I thought he was gonna say classic twice. I was like, what are you talking? <laughs> it's both classic and classic. <laughs> I get it. You're supposed to do this and then. No, other way. <laughs> there, dude. You have to use momentum to get it to the top. I have to use momentum to get it to the top, like this. You're, you don't lean it. <laughs> Why would you lean it? That takes the point. Oh, the I one. get you. I get you. I have to let it like fall oh, out. Exactly. I exactly. see. Because look, that makes sense. This is on an incline this way, right? So if I set up here, it's obviously not going to roll up. But if I release it like this, it's going to roll down and I pinch just at the right time. Ooh, and it rolls. It rolls up. Right, see you later, marble. Let's see if I can just get it to the end, right? I don't know if this is addictive. I feel like once I do it, and I'll be able to do it relatively quick, right? No, I have to do much more momentum. Boom, I did it. That's oh. it, took me three seconds. Oh. Trash it, it's not addictive. See how, I just broke the addiction. <laughs> don't smoke kids, and don't smoke shoot to the moon. Maybe that's why they call it shoot to the moon. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I thought it said Bertha at first. Bertha. Bjorha proxy bionize knows, what is this word? Rhinus? Rhinitis. Rhinitis? This is like a, a sinus issue. That's actually really offensive. If you think about it, if someone's got like a nose problem and it's like a little bit bigger, they call it rhinitis. It's like after a, rhi a rhinoceros because they have such a big, <sighs> that's mean, dude. Whoever named it that has a sense of humor. <laughs> Sinusitis, sinusitis. That sounds like a made up word. Hey, I got uh, hurt footus. <laughs> <laughs> I got hurt footusitis. It's where my foot's hurt. Oh my gosh. It just lights up your nose, dude. Maybe it 
burns your soul, so you're dead inside. <laughs> oh my gosh, good feedback all around. Only red color light, no instructions. Stick it up your nose, dude. <laughs> Add to cart. So it's like some type of like tube that you stick up your nose. They didn't even have the decency to make it symmetrical. They're both facing opposite, you see that? Like, they're lucky that's how my nostrils are. They're lucky my nostrils are askew, otherwise this wouldn't work. So these things light up and they do something. I don't know what it is. They, they cure sin sinusitis. People blinded by light could be treated with more light. Researchers have found that shining near infrared radiation on damaged retina cells can keep them alive and prevent permanent blindness. Wow, this is awesome. This is near infrared, which is really cool. So near infrared is actually a really awesome thing. Near infrared is super interesting because it creates like a lot of cell activity under the epidermis layer. But here's the question. How do we know that this is actually near infrared or if it's not just the LEDs and they're trying to scan me. <laughs> oh, it tickles so much. Oh, oh so much with the tickle. Ah! Rudolph the red nose red Personally for me, I mean I don't have a nose issue. I mean maybe I do, but this tickles way too much. So I'm going to say no, but it was definitely in the little time that it was in there, it was definitely warming up. So I'm going to give it a cash it. Oh no. Sneezing powder. I just was going through some nose stuff. Oh wait, 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 there's a video. Oh my gosh, you could tell that this guy just like snorted something. You can tell this guy snorts a lot of stuff. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? <laughs> Do you hear that? That caused an earthquake. <laughs> Relax, bro. <laughs> His face. <laughs> oh, great. Add a card. Oh, hell, yeah, that's awesome, dude. Black plastic bag. That's not creepy at all. Tanner, what do you think? You think this is gonna work? I think it probably will. I, I'm the one up here constantly telling people not to do drugs. I don't know if I feel comfortable sniffing literally foreign items. This is from China. Don't they have like drugs there? <laughs> Before I do this, do you have tissues? <laughs> that's not a tissue, that's a paper towel, dude. You trying to get this nose all red? Rudolph the red nose. Blow your nose with some money like you normally do. I feel like you actually have to get some in your nose. Mm -hmm. I'm too afraid. <laughs> <laughs> you saw some go up there, right? Yeah. I, saw I was like, can you see this real quick? Oh, that's what I kind of did. A little less though. Do you want to try Tanner? Sure. Are you supposed to snort this stuff or just like? <laughs> it does, there's no instructions. Thank you. Don't do this. It, uh, oh, I get a little something. It's making my eyes water. I think that's just when you snort anything. Though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't have enough experience snorting. <laughs> it burns. I might be dying right now. <laughs> <laughs> you held your hand up to my nose and it pulled away. Good I'm gonna, under you. I'm gonna say this is a definite trash. Uh, don't ever snort stuff. That was really stupid of Tanner. Really, yes. really dumb, dude. Don't rock the boat. Pirate ship. Penguin balance. Game, kids, children, family, fun toys, activity. Oh, you just have to like, kind of do like a little balance game or something like that? No feedback, just five stars. Let's add the cart, let's play it, Tanner. Jeez, this thing is humongous. It's actually not bad branding too. You just kind of like have it balanced like that, right? Oh my word, so many penguins. I think the idea here is that you keep adding one by one. So basically, whoever makes it knock first loses. So you go first since you're a youngin'. You already lost. <laughs> no, it's just I knocked your penguin off. I didn't <laughs> knock the thing over. I'll put your penguin back. There you go, Mr. Henry. Dude, you are not good at this. It's hard this. reaching around here. He's so bad at this. No. Relax. I'm trying to get it more centered. Okay, let's try this again. You put Henry right there. <laughs> I can't do it. This game sucks, dude. I told you, you guys are making fun of me. But. Well, this game sucks because like there's no tactile like grip, so they just kind of slide around. It'd be one thing if they were you were able to like a little grippy, so they didn't just slide into each other and fall around. Check this out. Let's see this big stake here. I couldn't have hoped for a better <laughs> way better than expected. That's a trash it, dude. What? <laughs> oh, sad about the penguins. Get shook. Retractable fist shooter. <laughs> trick toy gun. Oh yeah, it's total trick, dude. If someone comes up to me with this, I'm not gonna be like, what's that, dude? <laughs> Who's gonna fall for that? This is not a trick. It's a uh, plastic elastic telescopic fun. Say that five times fast. Plastic elastic, classic elastic, classic elastic. It actually goes far though. Add the cart. Oh. You smell what I'm cooking, dude? I'm cooking what you smell. How about that? <laughs> I'm saying we have like a little competition here. Whoever can punch the other person in the face first wins. We're talking about the guns, right? 
Sure, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, that's not as long as I thought it would be. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa! Well met. Oh! <laughs> oh, watch out, dude! Oh no, you blocked it! Oh, oh you got, got me! You. Oh, I got you in the mouth, dude! Take that! Take that, dude! These things are cool. Yeah, they're cool, but they're so. Mine's already falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> That was upsetting. See that right there? That is a playlist for all of our strange Chinese item videos. They're super funny, so click it if you want to see some more of these videos. This video right there is a video that YouTube thinks you specifically will enjoy. Will you? There's only one way to find out. Click it. Hi, bye.